Christophe from the dev team. He's going to help me demo Assassin's Creed live for the very first time running on the Xbox 360. Now, not only is this the very first time we're showing the game on the Xbox, it's actually the first time we're doing a live public demo. So you may notice a bit of popping, maybe a couple glitches. It's a work in progress. Stay with us because what you're really going to notice most of all is brand new gameplay designed for the next gen. You play Altair, a master assassin, and right now we're riding towards the town of Ak. Our target is William de Montferrat, and he's thought to be somewhere near the center of town. Now for those who don't know, this is a brand new franchise being developed by the Ubisoft Montreal studio, by the core team that brought you Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. Okay, let's get off the horse now and backtrack a bit. Um, let's go down into the alley to the left. What you're going to see now as we turn the corner is one of the main focuses that the team has had. And it's a promise of next-gen next gen games, really. It's crowd. So you're not only going to see hundreds of NPCs in crowded streets like this, but they're all going to react in their own individual way to what you're doing. If you push them around like that, they may not like it. And it may not be a good idea to do that if you're near your target and you don't want to be seen. But let's just get them out of the way. We're kind of in a hurry. I don't want to waste your time. And let's run up to this building. And now we can show you one of our second main focuses, which is freedom. We place the player in complete control of the environment. Just like if you guys are familiar with Le Parcours or free running, basically you can go anywhere. So any architectural detail like you're seeing right now is interactive. Let's turn around though, I hear some people yelling. So while climbing building is fun and you can do it, it may again not be the best thing to do if you want to approach unseen. So let's look around a little bit. This is the town of Acre. We modeled this based on historical documents from the period of the Third Crusade. And again, everything is interactive. There is no level design path. Um, actually, if you can back up, we can maybe show them another path. So we really want to give the player an ability to express themselves. And you can see that his stuff there decided to swing under. He could have stepped above. And that's exactly the kind of thing you'll be excited to compare with your friends on Xbox Live through achievements. But now that we've shown the character a little bit, let's get down to our main business, which is finding William. Right now, we're using our intuition to scan the crowd below. We can understand who in the crowd is for or against us, and most importantly right now it'll help us pinpoint our target. Oh, I think it's that guy over there. Um, okay, there are multiple ways we could do this. We could blast down full speed, high profile, but what I'd like you to do this time is go slowly. We're going to show off something that we call social stealth. So this is an idea that you're not hidden when you're in shadows or light. You're hidden when you're doing things that are socially acceptable. And some people have noticed you here, but we're going to use these monks. Um, we've done some helping missions to help them out, so they're going to let us blend in. And this way we can approach our target without attracting too much attention. I think now is a good time to branch off. Let's walk up slowly before they realize what's going on. And the key moment of assassination. After this, full chaos breaks out. And now you want to escape as quickly as possible. The crowd becomes dynamic obstacles, and the feeling is very much like American football. You really could get knocked over if you run full force into someone. So we're going to stay to the right here, and let's head towards the exit. Um, are we being followed? OK. We're going to show you something else. We can break things dynamically. We have physics. We're going to create a barricade. <laughs> I thought that was coming towards me. <laughs> and quick, let's get to the exit. Um, OK, well, we've been cornered here. And I can show you the fight now. Basically, this is a very realistic fight system. You can't take 100 blows to the head. In fact, you can't even take one. So what you want to do is take a defensive pose and wait for an opening in the enemy, just like his stuff is doing, and use that timing to land your perfect attack.
Okay, well, unfortunately, we're dead. 